Hola, Pene. Hello, Joshua Rosha Knesset, Yuli Yol Edelstein, esteemed member of the Knesset, dear friend of Lippmann, representatives of our dear partners from Israel Klita, the Jewish Agency, Kakal and JNF, chairman of Nefesh Benefesh, my dear partner, Tony Gelbart, and vice chairman, Eris Chafon, respected members of the Bonetzion Committee, to the very proud family and friends, and of course, to our distinguished Bonetzion honorees, Mazal Tov. Although I generally strive to speak only Hebrew at the Knesset, uh, since several individuals flew in from America specifically for today's ceremony and the remaining program will be exclusively in Hebrew, I decided to offer my remarks in English as a courtesy to some guests and a few of you. <laughs> my name is short, Yuli. Bas, please. That's what balances that. Last year, when we conceptualized the Bonetzion Award, we had three motivations in mind. First, we wanted a prospective olim in the diaspora to see that individuals can truly thrive, excel, succeed, and accomplish after their aliyah. And through this award, our honorees will hopefully serve as examples for others to emulate and follow. Second, we wanted the greater Israeli public to see the impact and influence of the anglo Olet population. And although we only have one Knesset member so far representing our demographic, the ripple effect of the Anglo population here in Israel is undeniably extraordinary. And third, simply hakarata tov. Our communities, our schools, our surroundings, our health, our security, and our culture have all been enhanced by the individuals who are being honored here today. And for that, we owe each and every one of you our hakarata tov. You can clap now for that. Minister Lippmann and I were talking about that this is very an Anglo audience. This is the quietest and most well-behaved Knesset forum that we've ever seen. In a couple of weeks from now, we'll be celebrating the Chag Shavuot and we'll be reading the Gilat Rut. There happens to exist an extremely unusual Midrash on the Gilat that I think is quite appropriate for today's ceremony. The Midrash reads as follows. Ilu hayar uven yodea shakarish bochum achtiv alav vayishma uven vayitzileu miyadam bekteifa vayamolicho etzel aviv. If Reuven would have known that the Torah would ultimately record his intentions to save Yosef, he would have instead rescued him and carried him on his shoulders. And if Aaron knew that ultimately the Torah would record how he greeted Moshe and encouraged him to continue on his courageous mission, he would have instead greeted him with great fanfare and pageantry. And if Boaz knew that the Navi would ultimately record his act of kindness to Ruth by giving her just parched grain to eat, he would have instead given a Knesset lavish smorgasbord. What an absolutely odd midrash. It is not probable that Chazal are implying that Ruvein, Aharon, and Boaz were so egotistical and so hungry for heightened headlines that they would have acted differently for a more impressive account of their deeds. Rather, the Midrash, in fact, is suggesting that these three acts, true, they were kind, they were gracious, were not really viewed as such significant feats or accomplishments at the time of their execution in the eyes of their performers. However, in retrospect, if Ruvain would have realized that his mere intentions of saving his brother would be recorded as the critical key in saving our very nation from famine, he would have treated that act with much more consequence. If Aaron realized that his mere encouragement and accompaniment of Moshe had spelled the deliverance of our very people from slavery, he too would have treated that moment with much more weight. And lastly, if Boaz would have known that his nobility and his graciousness towards Ruth would have paved the path for Machut Beit David, he too would have treated that moment with heightened distinction. In life, we all strive to achieve excellence, to make a difference, to make an impact. However, it is rare to be given the chance, the gift, to look back at the embroidery of our deeds and see the magnificent tapestry of our actions, let alone be cognizant of the unique role we each play in creating our own masterpiece. Today, we honor and highlight seven individuals whose accomplishments are so impressive, whose lives are so notable, that they can already see the extraordinary significance of their efforts. The Medrash concludes almost whimsically, In the past, you used to do a mitzvah, you do a notable act. 
the prophet would write it, record it. Today, who senses it? Who records it? Who witnesses it? Well, today we can answer in the affirmative. Today we are recording mitzvot. Today we recognize the first annual Bonetzion recipients, remarkable individuals with extraordinary accomplishments. Olim who can be assured of the impact and virtue of their actions. So we wish to all the Bonetzion recipients continued bracha, hatzlacha, briut, and sipu kanefesh, b'tishvesh china, b'maseh yedechem, mazal tov. Thank you.